correlation and regression. Let's take a look at uh, how to find a linear regression equation on a TI-84 uh, multi-view. Well, these are the numbers we're going to work with, uh, these x values, these y values, and we want to find a linear regression equation. So let's first enter these in. So I'll press my data, and um, I'll put these in L1. If you got any uh, numbers there, then, uh, for example, if I have 9, 3, like that, then uh, you can press your delete as each one of those is highlighted to clean it out. Or you can press data again, and you see it says clear L1, so I'll do enter on that. Okay, now our x values go from 1 to 7. So do 1 enter, 2 enter, 3 enter, 4 enter, 5 enter, 6 enter, and 7 enter. And I'm going to write her over to L2, and I'm going to have my y values. So 12 and 31, so 12 enter, 31 enter, 45 enter, 46 enter, 51 enter, 55 enter, and 73 enter. Okay, so now we're going to exit out, so I do second mode. And uh, I'm going to go into stat. So I do second stat and down arrow to two var stats and press enter. Now we put our x values in L1, we put our y values in L2, so the defaults are fine there. If you put it into another list, then you'd want to use your arrow key to highlight whichever list and press enter on it. Okay, then we'll do calculate. And you might find it easier to do an up arrow to get there faster. But the A and B are what we're looking for. And our regression equation, get my tablet loaded here. Oops. Okay, our regression equation, ignore that part, uh, is y hat is equal to ax plus b. Okay, so um, A was 8 point, uh, and I'll take it two decimal places, 8.46x plus B, so 10.86. Now I'm being lazy there and only taking it two decimal places. Realize that if you're going to do anything else with this, you'd want to take uh, out all the decimal places. At least five, because um, if you round too early on, you'll find that your, your numbers will get off. Okay, now that's how you find your, your regression equation. And um, if we wanted to um, do some further analysis of this, like predictions and so forth, we could plug X values in here. And a TI-34 TI multi-view does have a capability for doing that. See, um, if I do a up arrow or down arrow, probably up down arrow would have been faster, but that's okay. You see, you got uh, this x prime and y prime. If I choose y prime, for example, and then if I put in a two, and press enter, and then we get this. Well, um, this right here is if I plug 2 in for the x. So you got 8.46 times 2 plus 10.86. And uh, let's see, that's 2, 1, 9, 16.92. So I'm going to do my basic math right, plus 10.86. Add those together, I get 8, 9 plus 8 is 17, carry the 1, uh, not, not, carry the not, okay, 27.78. This is 27.79. Notice, since I did my rounding here, uh, by using the this these figures, I get a slightly different answer than this right here. Again, never a good thing to round in the middle of your problem. 
Now you don't need to worry about that for the TI-34 multi-view because if you do the Y prime and beginning parentheses, well it doesn't begin parentheses, but if you put two in, it'll go with original numbers. So this is actually the correct answer. Ours is a hundredths off. So anyway, that's how you do predictions. You can also do that based upon the, um, we did uh, Y prime. You could also, um, let's see if I remember where it's at. I'm definitely not an expert at the TI-34 multi-view. Second data, and the go to stat variables. And this is there after you do two of our stats. These aren't available until you actually do that. Oops, there's X bar, or X prime. So let me choose that, and let me put two in. And you can leave the closing parentheses on, on it, off at the very end. The TI-34 multi-view is very forgiving about that, or you can put it on. And then we get this. Okay, well, let's come here. Instead of replacing the X with the 2, when we do the X prime, what we're doing is we're putting 2 in for Y. So for this one, this would become 2 is equal to 8.46X plus 10.86. I'm not very good with decimals, but uh, let me try it. 2 minus 10.86 is equal to 8.46x and um, hmm, subtract those it gives us 8.86 negative is equal to 8.46x now what I came up with was negative one point in the two decimal places let's say 0 0.05 so here we divide both sides by 8.46 And uh, I'll have to use a calculator for this. And I'm going to use Texas Instruments um, TI 84. That's what I'm more comfortable with. I wonder what that is I'm clearing, though. Could be because uh, that isn't working. <laughs> okay, I'll go back to I'll go back to the um, calculator we're working with. This one. Press clear. Okay, and I'm going to do negative. 8.86 divided by 8.46 and press enter and notice what we get negative 1.05 so it does all this calculation for you so that's kind of cool so it allows you to do um, predictions after you get your least squares regression line so least squares regression equation um, in this case, again, this uh, plugs 2 in for the X. This one plugged 2 in for the Y. In this video, we took a look at how to take the TI-34 multi-view and find the least, uh, the least squares regression equation, the linear regression equation.